Hi everyone, so it's about time that I did a cloth nappy kind of review and about everything that we've used and tried and found that worked best for us and what didn't work best for us. Um, I'm also going to talk about some biodegradable nappies that we've started using as well. So first of all I wanted to go through one of the nappies that didn't work very well for us which was the pocket nappy. So the pocket nappy is like an all-in-one nappy, looks like this. Um, this one has velcro so it's really easy to do up so I thought why not give it a go. Um, and so it worked when she was little but it did leak on the sides so it was incredibly annoying because every time you thought oh she hasn't thrown up on this outfit she'd done a wig in it. So um, unfortunately they didn't work for us. We did carry on using them but only for about an hour and then changed her. Um, what else did we use? We also used um, these nappies, these Terry's nappies. They worked okay. Um, the first ones I got were from Amazon and I got like the cheaper ones and they weren't as thick so they didn't absorb as well. So thankfully Aria's Nana um, went and got some bigger ones and they absorbed more. So um, we try to use these mostly at night time because they're so bulky and they take up a lot of room in the nappy bag um, and also just like don't make it super easy for the baby to walk around. I know that's probably just me being a bit picky and also they do tend to kind of leak around the legs if you don't do it up quite tight enough with the safety pin. and. No one really offers to change their nappies because they don't have a clue how to use Terry's nappies. <laughs> um, so yeah, they worked and we used them mostly at night time. And because they didn't absorb enough, I paired them up with these liners, which are bamboo and charcoal. These are my like favourite thing in the world. <laughs> Um, and my daughter still uses them, she's a year and a month old now. Um, and so these have got like five layers, so they're like ultra absorbent. So we have that one, and then the outside part of the nappy, to stop any of like the moisture leaking out, is um, this kind of thing. So it looks like that, um, and then it obviously folds up to me. Oops, sorry, Aria wanted to be part of the video. So, um, the nappies look like this, and they have poppers. So they're called birth to potty um, nappies, and they basically pop her up to the size that you need. So obviously, the poppers would go further in the smaller your baby was, and then go bigger and bigger as your baby gets bigger. So they cannot see our faces. These I got them for three fifty for the outer shell, like this just the skin I guess, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, um, and they are called Mum's Best, I got them on eBay, yeah, for 3 50 and you can get all different designs, this is my favourite one, so I thought I'd show this one, and yeah, so it basically poppers up to the right size that you need for your baby. Um, there are also all sorts of other inners that you can get for these kind of nappies, um, so other ones that we've been given have been like this one, I think this one's called Dotty Bots, it's got a little label there. Um, and these have been quite good to absorb, I tend to have like a few of these because they don't absorb as much as the bamboo ones that I use. Um, another one that we got given was um, like this, and these are like a cloth material. I think these were like sort of the first sort of um, nappies, <laughs> not the first one, but like they are older nappies so um, the design is a bit different. Basically you just fold it and then um, put it into the cloth um, outer, so I'll show you. Basically it's got a hole in the top and then you feed it in through and then it's inside like that. And then obviously you do it up around the baby. Ta -da! Um, another thing that we use on the nappies is the liners. 
um, we use the liners just to catch any poo, I guess, um, to either put it into a nappy bag and put it in the bin, or you can get ones that flush down the toilet, which I really love. Uh, I'll show you the different ones. So one of the ones that we were given again um, were these disposable ones from Tesco. I think they're two pounds to buy. You get a hundred. They're really good because you can wash them. Um, if they've only done a wee, then just wash it and then. If they've done a poo, I tend to just put it in the bin because I don't really like the idea of having to try and wash it all out. I know it's not the best, but um, yeah, so those are those ones. Um, and then we've also got a few different ones. We've got one called Mayo Liners. These are ones that are for, from Aldi. And you get 250 liners for four ninety nine, so £5. Pounds. Um, so that's quite a good deal, actually. But I think they only have them in their baby sale. So I don't know if they always do them. I don't normally shop there. Um, another one that we buy online most of the time are the Top Spots ones. They look like this. They're a lot smaller. This is my only issue with them. They're great because they biodegrade, they're made of bamboo, they feel nice, but they're just a bit small, they don't quite cover the whole nappy, so if she does a poo and it like goes off into the side and it's squidged, I know, gross, but um, that's not so great. But it is brilliant that they can be flushed down the toilet, whereas I think these Mayo liners can't be flushed down the toilet, and a lot of the biodegradable ones can't be flushed down the toilet. So one of the main issues and questions is about cleaning um, clock nappies. So what we do is we have a nappy bucket and we can either put it in, just literally chuck all the nappies in, obviously minus the poo, so the poo is all in the liner and that goes in the bin or down the toilet if you've got the disposable flushable liners. Um, and then they go in the bucket and then when you've got enough you put them into the washing machine I like to put them in a separate rinse first and then put them going again on a second wash um, on a 40 degree wash with the mm. detergent um, some people like to put the nappy bucket full of warm water um, and then you can put oils in it so I have tried putting lavender oil or tea tree oil in and that makes it smell way better like it doesn't have the hideous ammonia smell when it's in the nappy bucket but uh, either way it doesn't change the smell of the nappy like the nappies don't smell once they've been washed they don't smell gross because otherwise I think we probably wouldn't use them if they smelled disgusting um, yeah so that's how we kind of clean them it's pretty easy and then we just either put them on the line or in the dryer if it's really rainy. Uh, obviously the line's better for the environment, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So another thing I forgot to add was um, these nappy sacks that we buy. So we don't have to buy nappy sacks very often. I did think about using dog poo bags because <laughs> you can get biodegradable ones for so much cheaper than you can get for nappy sacks, which seems kind of stupid, but okay. Um, and so these ones are called Eco by Natty and um, we really like them. They're made of cornstarch and I'll just open it to show you. Uh, so they're completely biodegradable and they're big enough to fit like a nappy or maybe even two nappies in I guess. Um, and they feel nice and they've got a little tree design on, pretty cute. So those are perfect, I guess, if you just wanted to throw them, like if you have a biodegradable nappy, you could literally just throw the whole thing in the compost bin. Um, so those are those ones. And I think I got three packs of 50, so 150 of them for £7 off of Amazon. But yeah, they're normally quite expensive, I think that might have been on the deal. So lastly I wanted to talk about the biodegradable nappies that we've used overnight. So as she got to about six months old she started doing like giant <laughs> giant poos overnight. Um, so like just in the morning. And um, 
it was horrible, it was going everywhere, and it would go all over her cot, and obviously that's disgusting and not nice for her. So we decided to get biodegradable nappies just for when she goes to sleep, um, so that it doesn't like leak out of the uh, cloth ones that she has. Um, so the ones that we've trialled out, we've only trialled two because we looked at some other people's reviews and kind of went by that and found the ones that were most biodegradable and eco-friendly, blah, 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 blah. So the first ones we tried out were these bam bamboo nature ones. Um, they look like this. They've got a cute little bear on the front and then they've got a little bear on the, the bear's butt on the back. Um, they do up really well. They have a really good um, leg area, I guess, so it doesn't leak out. And it's got the inside bit, so it makes sure that any uh, poo or whatever stays inside of the nappy. The only thing I don't like about these is that they've got, like, the gel inside. And I don't know if this nappy is 100% biodegradable. We don't know, do we? So, although these are great and most of the nappy is biodegradable, I don't know for sure that the whole thing is. But they do have a good company and I would definitely look at other people's reviews on them because I've seen some good ones. Um, another nappy that we've just started trying out sorry, is um, Kitten Kin. So this is Aria's size and they come in different designs for the size of your baby. So at the moment she's in a fox's one. Um, and this is the design that actually goes in the back, so this is the front of the nappy, and that's the back. Um, they, these have worked really well, and they also have really good company. Um, these are made out of bamboo fibre, they're really absorbent, and we haven't had any leaks so far. Tend to, I think it says they recycle like 70% of all of the materials um, to make other nappies, etc. So that's nice and eco-friendly. Okay, so we paid uh, £47 for 180 of the Bamboo Nature nappies. Um, obviously because we only tend to use them overnight or if you have like super bad diarrhea or something. Ew. But um, yeah, so that's when we use them. And that's for 180 And then the Kit and Kin ones we paid £35 for... 136 nappy. So the bamboo nature ones are 26p per nappy and the kitten kin ones are 24p per nappy. Smells like I've got to go and change another nappy now so thanks for listening to me and have a fab day.